Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. This next level here is a bit of an infamous one. I Bramble just, Blast. I just want to listen. Oh, I'm sure you do. Here we go. This is a, a song called Sticker Symphony. Is it Sticker Brush or Sticker Bush? S sticker Brush Bush whatever, one of the two. See, I've had like a Mandela effect. I've seen it as both. So I'll just run with, it's both. It's basically a barrel maze. I love this concept. But my god, could you easily get lost in this. I guess it helps to have a soothing melody while going through this garbage. It's also locked to angles, so... W which is good. I'm glad you don't have to individually aim it yourself. Especially when we get into other consoles. Eight-way movability! Go wherever you want! Mm -hmm -hmm. Play the game how you want! Mm -hmm. You can go in eight directions! Yeah, if only there was a console powerful enough for that kind of maneuverability. When will we ever get to it? Shit. Oh no! It's this one! This was the console with that kind of power of maneuverability! No! No joke, I didn't know that was a thing at this level. <laughs> And then a new fear grips your heart. <laughs> oh, no! Like never before. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country, the end of all gamers. <laughs> We've made it, guys. They can go in all eight directions. We're so screwed. You know there's a Kaizo hack of this game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a Kaizo hack of everything. I recently watched a, uh, a speed run of Super Metroid, uh, Kaizo, and Jesus. You actually see Jesus at the end, I'm sorry to tell you. Really? Yeah. It's a lot of effort for a typical ROM hack. He takes over Mother Brain. He asks people to see the light, and then a power bomb goes off, and then you die. Hey, there we go. There we go. Actually, uh, oh. speaking of those hacks, that I, I know Kaizo is supposed to mean like asshole, and it's just like rude things that happen in the game. I, I honestly think only Kaizo Mario got it right, because yeah, there's bullshit in Kaizo Mario. But it's not overly cruel. The thing about Mario ROM hacks, and I guess Kaizo's in general, is that they're essentially puzzle games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, uh... And if you treat the game as if it's a puzzle game, that's the way it should be. And some people just realize that, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I hate the player simulators. Yeah, let's... They, they want to be, I want to be the guy, you know? Let's be a dick. Which, which even then, they had some... Some clever wit to those games. <laughs> Shit. You're good, you're good, you're good. There we go. There's a DK barrel up here soon, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. No, Don't I... make a liar out of me. Yeah, I think one of the... Oh, no. I was about to say, that would be overly cruel. But, nope. Oh, oh man. All right. All right, I'll take over for you. Yeah, jeez. Now, one of the things I found fascinating about uh, Super Metroid Kaizo is uh, every enemy can deal a one-hit kill. And I thought about it, and I was like, is that actually fun and challenging, or is that just mean? And depending on your skill level, it's both. See, I think, you know, difficulty is collaborative between the game designer and the game player. Oh. Well, what? Okay. Make sure you lucked out. Is that a glitch? Oh, or did I just get fucking lucky? Maybe it wasn't, uh, well, you know, let's not question it. I'm not. Ow. Ah, uh, dude. Uh, ah! Oh. <clears throat> Ahem. Like, the game designer should make something that is, you know, difficult, sure, if, if they're going for that, but also still, like, playable and well-designed and, you know, have the players, you know, you know, back on certain things. But the game player also should know their limits. I think another thing that is really neat about, uh, well. about uh, Kaizo Mario is that it actually teaches you new mechanics about the game. Like, Kaizo Mario is where a lot of players found out that you can kill big boos by going down st uh, stairs. That was always a thing. I know it was always a thing, but nobody thought to do it <laughs> until you, you saw it in a really difficult hack. You can do it in the in the main game, though. I know. Because he's by a staircase. No one just tried it out because it's a big, scary ghost. Would you think about sliding into a big, scary ghost on the stairs? No, you wouldn't. Actually, yes. I did that as a kid. So you knew about it already? Oh, yeah. 
I'm meaning for the the wider audience because I remember seeing a seeing posts about it online where people were going, "Did you know you could do this?" And I I honestly thought, "Well, yeah, I I did know you did. Nobody else knew how to do this, really." All right. Basically, the only game I had to play on Super Nintendo was Mario World and Yoshi's Island, so I played a l those a lot. Never had to play games like this. Or never got the chance to play games like this. The DK coin is at the very end here, basically. In this mess? End of, end of the level. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm like tensing up. <laughs> never seen this level. It's great. Oops. Because I barely watch speedruns of these games either. Or they're going by so fast I don't even notice what's happening. That looks final. There we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear lord. Oh damn. Good, good, good. Check. Okay, good, you did see it. And <sighs> what? A whole separate section? There's a whole separate section up here. Yep. yep Dude! Yep yep, 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 yep. That's really neat! Yep, and there's the DK coin. Ha! Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Please Get do not here. lose crackers. Get out of here. Do not lose crackers. You don't lose crackers, you lose. Oh, squawks. Oh, squawks, you, excuse me. You lose, uh. One of the. One of the Kongs there. Okay, good. Oh, the indestructible. The indestructible wasps. They're zingers. <laughs> Zing, 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 zing. That would be great if they just told you a, they told you a sick joke, like every time you run into them. This is like, hey, right, go on, name some. <laughs> you want me to be a monkey's uncle, and then they just stab you or something like that. Zing. Want to be a monkey's uncle? Well, too bad. I'm your grandfather. <laughs> and then he's stabbed in the chest. He's like, ah, no, grandpa. I forgot this is time. I better hurry. Oh, you're, you're good. You're good. Because you're, like, right there. See, look, you're right there. Totally right and there. And poof, got it. poof, bananas and a coin. Hell yeah! Easy. We get the G, too. And then it drops you directly onto the ending. Oh, wow, that was close. What should we get? Bananas or a coin? Coin. Coin. Oh, yeah, coins all the way. Because we keep losing them. Yeah, well... <laughs> or, actually, no, we spent those. Though those weren't lost to the to the save damnation. Well now we are at the boss of Krem Quay. Have I been saying that right this whole time? Krem I always thought it was Krem Key. Krem Key? K Krem Key? I don't know. So big boss time, what we got? It's a big guy with the club, he's invincible. Oh. Uh, until he's not. Don't be on the ground when he jumps. Or when he lands, I guess. He's gonna throw he's gonna hit his club, and then he does that, and drops the TNT, ah. and can you guess what you gotta do now? I need help, UDJ, what do I do next? Oh, wait, did that count? Or did he do that... Uh, he... he... Invulnerable BS. Damn it. Alright, so I have to throw it. Okay. That would have been the time to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hate myself sometimes. This, is, this one's a tough one. All right, bring it, bring it, bring it. Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Drop it right there. Yeah. Okay. Wait for you to drop. Oh, it can only be then. Uh huh. Or do I have to hit him like when he falls and like praises the sun or something like that? And he does that. Drops that. So only after he drops four times. That's a long time to wait for a kid to actually hit him. Okay, maybe you do throw it. Like, oh, there you go. He actually waited patiently for that. Don't know what the difference is, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you hit him once. I mean, maybe we need to wait for his hubris to catch up with him. He's just like, oh yeah, yeah, they're definitely not gonna throw that at me. Yeah, he actually waits patiently. That's hilarious. Uh, now he's gonna drop down a lot faster. Just like, a the boss barrel, or- What was that barrel enemy called? The barrel boss? B barrel Bertha, I think. Barrel Bertha. 
Big boss bur- yeah, it's, it's some- some big- B Big boss barrel! Rather off-putting belching- wait, belcha? Belcha? Because it, when you throw a bug in its mouth, it'd go Brrr. Oh, that was, uh, that was DKC3, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Be See, because Rare is run, run by a bunch of 12 year olds. Well, I thought it was the- I was thinking of the oil drum. Oh, dumb drum. There we go. Yeah. Well, the, the, well there's another barrel boss in, the, in DKC3. <laughs> All the barrels! Only barrels. Make them belch. Make them talk. Make them belch. Make them shit. Make, make them, them do anything you want them to do. All barrels all the time. Hey, idiot. Ah! <laughs> oh, still not. Okay. I actually do kind of like this boss. The second phase being all of a sudden he adds a jump and most kids would be ju would just be like, Oh no. Oh god. I oh, am god. out. So done with 100 this game. Hundred percent out, uh -oh, man. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, bad time, bad time. Damn it. I can get this. I can get this. I can get this. What? Oh, don't even with that. It touched him. I call bull. Yeah, he's mean. All right, all right. Let's. Oh, you bitch. It's the only way I can just. God it. He's damn it. Overly mean. I was so close. Okay. Well. I threw it at his feet. I hit his toenail. Why are you telling me that did not hurt? Okay, that was a funny animation. I don't think I got one when I entered the level. I think I was just too stone-faced for it. That stun animation lasts forever. All right. Show me. Oops. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that <laughs> has that happen. I do like the soundtrack that's playing in the background. It's pretty high energy. Oh my god, Boosh. you gotta kill this guy. I gotta throw a bomb it's, at his it's face. It's so dire! Because these bosses are a lot stronger than the, than the original. And this guy's just jumping around like a loser. Like, look, we have an entire screen that we can use! I do like that. Take that! Check this, though. I would love it if this was actually a trampoline and we, and we never considered trying to jump on her uh, by ourselves. Ah. God, I hate that. Doesn't Rare know about splash damage that should have hurt him when he blew it up with his club? He's burning. He should still be taking fire damage for five turns after this. Even though he is a reptile and that would not actually hurt him. Make him burn, please. Burn the reptile man. Him being cold blooded, it would of course do more damage. Oh, crap. Yep. That's rough. Yeah, bring it on, you big club. I almost called you an ape, but you were clearly not. He's not a club either. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, oh. Hi, yeah, hi, yes, I am part club. <laughs> uh, that's where it always got me back in the day, too. Yeah, he's not vulnerable. He he has a bad case of nuh -uh damage. Uh -huh. <laughs> Until he actually just like he challenges you basically. He's just like, oh yeah, you you gonna throw that at me? You, oh, I hate nuh -uh damage. You dare approach me? There we go. It's like I'm even giving you the TNT barrels, and y you can't even throw them in me. All right, you dare challenge me? Yeah. What? You have to be far enough away in order for it to count? Are you mad, Rare? I think they are a little upset. Fucking hell. I hate that shit. There. You'll be glad to know that the next boss is, uh, a little easier. Is it another sword? No, well, no. <laughs> is it a barrel? No. It's kind of a repeat. Is it another goofball with a giant club? Let's uh, not talk shit about the guys with giant clubs. <laughs> They're giving us a run for our money right now. I'm a broke monkey. Don't give me a run for my money. I don't want to run from cash. Here you go. Ah! Yeah. I do like the face he's making. That's that's classic <laughs> Looney Tunes. The the big eyes and just like flailing everywhere. Speaking of which, yeah. damn it. Yeah, there we go, take that. Okay, he, d 
does three jumps and then jumps back up. There we go. I think one more ought to do it. Yep. Get out of here. Oh no! Mm. Okay, yep. I was right, it is the three jumps. All right, take this though. <gasps> That's, no! Oh! No, oh, he waited too long! Are you fucking kidding? You have, you have to do it in time? He was waiting for a while! There! Yes! Fuck off! God, that was obnoxious. Woo! But I will take that. Give me that boombox, give me the 90s back, yeah! Excellently done! I told you, <laughs> Clutch Skull is <laughs> it will come back eventually. <laughs> well, I'm glad he did, I'm glad he came. Oh, Crazy Kremlin! We're at Crazy Kremlin! There's a bunch of bees and roller coasters and bad stuff here. Oh, that kind of makes sense. You know, you drop your cop cotton candy and then bees just kind of swarm all over the place. Before we can get into Kremlin, oh, we gotta- Oh dear god, a hornet hole. We gotta go through a hornet <laughs> hole. That's a hole full of, ho full of hornets, dude! And you think it'd be terrifying with all the bees and all that, but this is actually kind of one of the cooler level biomes. Oh, well, yeah. Along uh, with a really interesting song with it as well. Ooh! So, uh, uh, allow me to introduce you to Hornet Hole. Here okay. we go. The double H. The Hornet Hole. <gasps> Ooh! You got like honey here that you kind of get stuck to. Sticky honey. Or you can like jump in it. Okay, those are just background guys. Throw up there, and then... <gasps> Wall climbing? Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Ew. <laughs> Icky larva. Now find that token and all this honey. Go. It should be somewhere. Uh, you, you gotta eat all the honey. Uh, no, just, uh, just open your mouth. Just, basically, like, you know how some cartoons, they use their bodies as a sled and they just keep their mouth open and eat all the eat all the delicious sweets? Why is, why is this a honey level? It should be for, like, Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. Banjo in the, in the writer's room is just, Oh! He does Oops. not exist yet. Well. How <laughs> sticky... Would, would you say it is? Like, is it near impossible to move, or is it just annoying? You can't move. Oh. You have to jump, basically. Hmm. I am a fan of the concept and the mechanics so far. I am enjoying this. B! B! E! 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 O! A! O! Is, is this from all the sugar you're consuming inside all that delicious honey? <laughs> Getting a little drunk for the royal jelly, too! <laughs> Ooh, that was a brilliant dodge! Oh! oh. Don't praise me, it, does, it, it doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's, uh, uh, negative reinforcement. <gasps> they actually eat the honey! Oh, that's cute! I love it. Now, now get your fr fr friend... Get your fucking head in the game! <laughs> get your head in the honey! What? <laughs> Ooh! Spider in the hive! Spider versus all these bees! Do you remember deadly creatures? I remember them, I live with them. Well, no, I'm not I'm not meaning violet <laughs> or spider. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> ah! uh, there we go, there okay. we go. Now it's uh, you know what, any point I had, fuck it. <laughs> Uh, big spider snake game. Yeah, forget it. Spider scorpion game. Whatever. Just, just get the coins, get the nanners, get the get all that honey. Is this just how we're gonna do the rest of the? Okay, there we go. Yeah. I mean, I could cheat, but that betrays the the whole point of everything, right? In the hierarchy of insects, legs. Our friend spider here completely destroys zingers with some of his own amazing jokes. A web of comedy, if you will. <laughs> there we go. Actually, I don't think he's much of a comedian. I think he's more of a storyteller. Ah. He's got them all wrapped up in his yes, juicy stories. Yes, And then we find out, you know, he actually hasn't been truthful at all. It's just a web of lies! But, you know, this is, uh, the mid-90s, and so, uh, you know, the internet was just starting out, so you can find them on the World Wide Web. Oh my god. 
Oh, I love it. And, and you know, have you ever heard his dulcet tones like when he's singing? Such a silky smooth voice. He's also a spider. <laughs> Punch him! <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm sorry, Legs, or whatever your name happens to be. Every time I hear spiders, I just immediately go to punch them. Uh, I've, I've been ruined by internet humor, but thank God I've been ruined by internet humor, oh, not something terrible. Oh, you've been enriched by the humor enriched, of James Rolfe. Okay. Yes, that is a much better word. This poopy, shooty <laughs> fuck farts. God, I, I remember so back in the day where everybody was trying to be James and would use that in just their regular repertoire. It's, like, they don't get that, it's a character, though. Especially in old Let's Plays, where they would just, like, combine regular words with curse words, and it was so bad. It's a bunch of fucking poopy farts. <laughs> well, well, now it's, like, hilarious, because it's, like, ironic now. Oh, right, all right. Like, he, he's so... He's he's gotten older, and now he just says it just to make, not only make himself laugh, but to make the audience laugh too. That's why it's not as prevalent, I think, and also where he you know he adds in other jokes where it's funny, especially cracking up on camera. So, oh yeah, that is still a gag that gets me every time, even though it's not a gag, it's a legitimate response. Yeah, James Ruff is a guy who's who can't help but hide the smile in his eyes. That's why he has to lock down his his lips when he does that nerd frown. <laughs> Because you just can't help but laugh. I'm trying to do it now, and it, it's actually not helping. It's just like, I lock up the face, and, and then the laughter still comes. That's why it doesn't work. That's all the time. That's why, that's why he has to do that. I actually went back, and every single uh, video where he has a guest, he, he just can't help but smile. <laughs> Especially with, it, like, uh... When he got Macaulay Culkin in there, he just Oh, when he got Gilbert Gottfried on there. He just couldn't hide the smile. <laughs> it was there all the time. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's alright. Nanners. That was a cool level. And I'm glad that you got to do it, because I can imagine how much longer we would have been here if I had control of the spider. Well, next up, uh, well, we do have a con college. I think I'll go ahead. No, I'll save. Yeah, Let's, I'll learn. Let's learn! Let's Give learn! Give me the knowledge! Today you gotta learn about how to save your game! Hey, bam! Save your game! For free this time! Bam! 38%. Wow. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Not too bad. Let's hmm. get out of here. Peace. Well, you, on the other hand, my friend, are taking on, uh... So we have to go up. We're going inside now for the <gasps> second map. Uh, target Terror. Target Terror. Hmm. I see a cart up there. <laughs> I want to do the cart <laughs> stages. I like the cart stages. I think you will. We'll see you next time.